divided by 16. Okay, so I'm going to draw my bar model. I'm dividing by 16. Okay, so we can use multiples of um, 10, right? Okay, so if so I could do 160. So if I, can I do another 160? Let's do this. Let's do 576 minus 160. So 6, 1, Four. Can I do another 160? Yeah. yeah. So minus 160. Can I do another one? Yeah. Okay. Does anybody know how many times 16 goes into 96? So we can put 96 here, right? Okay, so 16 goes into 160. How many times? 10 times. And then let's mentally do 16 times 6. So 6 times 6 is 30. So 6 mentally carry the 3. 6 times 1 is plus 1 is 9. So it would be 6, right? So 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 6 is, 30. so 36. So 36 books. Number five, model with mathematics. Multiplication of two numbers results in a partial product. 210 and 3. One of the factors is 30. Write a multiplication equation and a division equation to model the situation. Show your Okay, so they're saying that one of the factors is 30, okay, and then we get three different sections that are 200, 10, and 3. So instead of dividing these out, we're going to multiply them out to find out what our dividend is. Okay, so what's two times three? Six, six you got how many zeros? So 6,000, right? Three times one is three and add two zeros. Three times three is nine and add one zero. So we have 6,390 divided by 30 equals 213, right? Or to write it backwards, 213 times 30 equals 6,390. Number six, then there are 455 grams of dissolved salt in a 13 kilogram sample of seawater. How many grams of dissolved salt are in one kilogram of seawater? So we have 455. 13, how many grams are in there? So we're gonna have our box, right? And then we're gonna have 13. What could be a multiple of 13? Um, we do 130, okay. So I'm gonna have 455 minus, so I could do, oops, I could do 130. Let me write that a little better. So I could write 130, so minus 130, five, two, three. Can I do another 130? Yes. So minus 130. Can I do another 130? 
Upward. Okay. And then can I just put 65? Okay, so what is 13 times to get 130? 10, right? And then 13 times what to get 60? 5. Let's mentally look. 5 times 3 is 15. Carry the 1. 5 times 1 is plus 1 is. So 65. So 5. So plus 5 plus equals. So that equals. So 35 grams. On your own, use tools. Use the very little to represent the division equation and find the quotient. So we're going to have our box. Okay, and then we're dividing by 25. All right, so what can we do? Can we do 300? Okay, so 300. Can I do another 300? Another 300? And then I'm up to what? 900, and then I'm left with 25. So how many quarters are in $3? 12, right? So 12, 12, 12, and then 25 goes into 25, and then we're going to add these together. What is 12 times 3? 36 plus 1 equals? So C would equal 37. Okay, next one. I have the same type of problem. It's just written backwards. So 10, okay? What can I do? A thousand. Okay. Can I do another thousand? Can I do another thousand? No. I could do 700 and then 50. Okay. So how many times does 10 go into 1,000? 100 times 3. How many times does 10 go into 7? Hundreds, seventy, and then how many times does um, ten go into fifty? Five. So add, add. So one hundred plus one hundred is two hundred plus seventy is two seventy plus five is two hundred seventy-five. Okay. And then eventually you're gonna learn to divide by units of ten, and you even have to do all that. You would just loop the decimal. Okay, next one. We have what? 54. Okay, so what can I do there? Can I do 540? Okay. Okay, so this one we're going to have to probably show a little bit of work over here to the side, right? Okay. So 4, this becomes a 13, this becomes a 10, and this becomes a 0. So 9. Okay. Can I do another 540? Okay. So that leaves us with 54. Does that work out pretty good? Okay. So uh, 54 into 540? 10 times, right? And then 54 into 54, once. So that equals 21. Okay, next one. We have 24. Okay, what can I do? 240. Okay, so 672 minus 240. Two, three, four. Can I do another two forty? So one ninety two. So what do you guys think? Can I do a forty eight?
So I'm a 144. So can I do another 48? Yeah. That leaves us with what? 96? How many times do you guys think that goes in there? In the 96. Okay, so let's try that. So 240, what would that be? 10? 240 would be 10, 48, twice, twice, and then 96 would be what? Four. So 10 plus 10 is 20 plus 2 is 22 plus 2 is 24 plus 4 is 28. Number 11, the area of the bottom of a swimming pool is 1,250 square meters. The length of the pool is 50 meters. What is the width of the swimming pool? Right, in addition to it. So, this is what we're looking for. So 1,250 divided by 50 equals. So we're going to do our box. And 50. Okay. So then what? So we do 1,000. Whoops. 200. And 50, right? So we can mark off a zero here. How many times does five go into 100? 20 times. Mark off a zero here. Five into 20. Four. And 50 into 50. So 241. Oh, no, no, not 200. Sorry, guys. 25. So 20 plus 4 plus 5, or 1 is 25. No, because they want to know the width. They don't want to know the area. 